is for us. In his second federal trial, Brett Hankison's fate now in the hands of the jury, who for more than a week sat inside this courthouse and listened to both arguments in the civil rights case. After days of testimony, evidence, and hearing two different perspectives of Brett Hankison's actions during the Breonna Taylor raid, a 12-person jury is now deliberating his fate. They're deciding if the former Louisville officer is guilty or not guilty of civil rights violations when he fired 10 shots into covered windows. After Hankison's first federal trial ended in a hung jury, the prosecution hopes jurors can reach a verdict this time around. On Wednesday, both sides left jurors a final impression with two and a half hours of closing arguments. The defense sticking to their claims that Hankison fired to save fellow officers involved in what he believed was a shootout with Kenneth Walker. They went further criticizing Walker, calling him a criminal, and brought Taylor up, reintroducing the argument that she was dead when Hankison fired shots, so he did not violate her civil rights. The prosecution also doubling down that Hankison shooting at a person he could not see was a crime and went against LMPD's policy, training and common sense. The U.S. attorney telling jurors that this case is loosely about Hankison perceiving a threat because all of the officers on scene that night did. But they argue Hankison's response to that threat was unreasonable. In Hankison's first federal trial, jurors took three days to deliberate and did not reach a unanimous verdict. And at this point, it's unclear how long they may take. And if convicted, Hankison faces life in prison. From downtown Louisville, I'm Alexis Matthews, WOKY News.